Wafiji, welcome to Kenya Cyclist Network. <laughs> you guys are awesome. So last time you gave us amazing, amazing feedback. And so today we're going to talk about getting the right bike size. Many of you just think that cycling is about going to a shop, picking a bike and riding off. <laughs> There are three key measurements that are key when you want to get your own bike. That is the top tube measurement, the head tube measurement, and also the seat tube measurement. This is what is going to tell you the size of this bike. I know the bike size is also one of the very most controversial topics, but normally I usually just use the two measurements. That is the seat tube measurement and the top tube measurement to ideally give me a rough idea of the, the size of the bike. For instance, for me, I am 5'9 feet tall and my bike is 55 centimeters. So that is within the frame, frame range of what size I should cycle. There are so many misleading information about having the right frame. So for me, I usually just work with my own style. This is my own style. And I usually work with the top tube and the seat tube. So this, the seat tube, when you want to measure your bike, the seat tube starts from the middle here to where the saddle begins. And the top tube is from the center here to the center somewhere here. So I'll just show you how this happens. And here is my tape measure. So normally I do this, sorry, I will do this. And you'll realize to this point we are at actually 55.5 centimeters and to this point you must make sure it's at the middle to the middle here I'm actually at 56.5 centimeters so that actually lies between the range of my height this key measurement will also affect your reach. How do you reach your bike? How do you, your comfort of the bike? And how do you even pedal? So, that is one of the things you need to know when buying a bike. So if you are looking for an MTB bike, that is a mountain bike, this right here is a chart that will help you at least match your height to your bike size. And when you are looking for a road bike, this right here is also a chart that will help you to match the right size for your height. In the event you don't have a tape measure, you can just get to the bike shop and get to the bike, use the top tube and try with their two fingers to get to the to the pelvic girdle. If it's so tight, then that is your right size. It should fit these two fingers. And if that gap does not exist totally, or you are struggling to fit in between the top bar and your pel pelvic girdle, then it means that bike is too big for you and it's not your size according to your height. So I'm going to show you another way you can get your frame size right and with this 
you just need to take off your shoes then at least stand apart about 15 to 20 centimeters legs apart and measure the distance from the ground to your pelvic girdle so you will always need this a tape measure to get the measurement right so after you get the measurement from the ground to your pelvic girdle then if you are looking to get a, a mountain bike or an MTB you will multiply that by 0 0.66 and if you are looking to get a road bike then multiply that measurement by 0 0.7 so for instance, mine is 78 centimeters. And if I multiply 78 by 0 0.7, since I wanted or I always preferred a road bike, it comes to 54.6 centimeters. That means the right frame size for me should be 54.6 centimeters. A 54 centimeter bike will work for me and a 55 centimeter bike will work for me. And that is how I ended up having this 55 centimeter bike. Wafini! <laughs> so guys are asking, what happens when you get a wrong frame size? Even if you adjust your saddle, you're not going to compensate the size of your frame. Your saddle will still be higher and you're just going to increase the reach you might not reach well for your cycle. Having a wrong frame size, you're just risking having back pains and injuring your back. So the best thing is always to get the right frame size. Having a big bike, is also risky for you because you can never control your bike very well because it will be very high and you might even lose control and crash. So the best thing and the key to owning a bike is just having the right size to your height. So you can see the comfort I have with the bike that I got. The right frame size according to my height. I told you I'm 5'9 feet and this bike is 55 centimeters. So I can be able to reach very well and I can also be able to at least go downhill very well using the handlebars. And with this, you can see even the movement and when I'm taking a corner, it's very seamless and I'm very comfortable with it. So what happens when you have a smaller frame? When you have a smaller frame, that means your reach will not be as comfortable as this it might be shorter so you you might have to be cycling all the time while standing because when you sit down on your saddle your your knees might come into contact with the handlebar you might have a very tragic accident you really need to check on the measurements when you are getting your bike wafini for more of this subscribe to kenya cyclist network <laughs>